Survey distant frontiers and seek the undiscovered reaches of the galaxy with MISC's Odyssey, the most advanced exploration ship available to civilian starfarers. The onboard refinery, ship hangar, built-in mining tech and tractor beam, expansive cargo hold, and comprehensive accommodations for a crew of six all allow you to tame the furthest reaches of space, remaining self-sufficient almost indefinitely. Discover a new life deep among the stars, only from MISC. Welcome Immortals, I'm Vici Deum, here to go over the top 5 best uses for the MISC Odyssey. And don't forget to sub up to keep up since we're starting right now. Number 5. Reconnaissance the MISC Odyssey makes a fantastic scout ship, able to inject itself anywhere an org needs to provide detailed information and logistics from any sector of space. I see the Odyssey paired with an onboard escort fighter like a Hurricane or Sabre in case any conflicts arise while operating in this capacity. Additionally, the Odyssey is slated as the premier ship for living off-grid, with the ability to refine its own hydrogen and quantum fuel aboard. As such, it never needs to stop and refuel, and with dedicated medical facilities, tremendous utility, and extended living facilities for its crew, the MISC Odyssey can easily position itself anywhere in the verse and then entrench itself for the long term. And due to its non-combat focus and smaller cargo hold, it's unlikely that this ship will arise much suspicions or be a target for piracy, as other ships in the game are more richly laden with cargo and less defensively protected than the Odyssey. But should any ships attempt to contest this, its large radar, onboard escort, and weapons complement will provide enough deterrent for all but the most dedicated pursuers. For these reasons, using the Odyssey for reconnaissance is number 5. Number 4. Search and Rescue the Odyssey makes an excellent SNR vessel for its tremendous range, ability to operate in an extended deployment, and its comprehensive onboard medical stations. In this capacity, I see the Odyssey responding to medical beacons and other requests regardless of the distance, positioning itself in areas of space that are harder to reach for other SNR ships. For this, the Odyssey could charge a premium as it would likely be one of the few ships capable of rescuing and providing any aid to these stranded players who would otherwise have to wait several hours for for others to make the journey, if it was even possible, since in some areas like Pyro, there just isn't the infrastructure to conveniently refuel small and medium ships like in Stanton. As such, the Odyssey could provide excellent relief, and while it lacks tier 1 beds, its onboard medical complement is more than capable of stabilizing any patient and treating the majority of their injuries. If those players are trapped in difficult, hard to reach places, the Odyssey's onboard hangar could be outfitted with several C8 Pisces and ground vehicles so that a small emergency medical detachment could leave in them and then stabilize those patients in the field, which would then be transported on board the ship's more robust medical suite to stabilize them further and provide advanced care. Additionally, those players could then, at a premium, use the Odyssey's Tier 2 bed for respawning, providing an additional income stream and extending its usefulness within this role. For all these reasons and more, using the Odyssey for SNR is number 4. Number 3. Headquarters. The MISC Odyssey makes a fantastic headquarters for any small or medium-sized org due to its utility, durability, long-term living, and massive inventory. As a ship capable of subsisting without ever having to stop and resupply means that any org can continue operating within their niche for however long they like, and with 252 SEU, a hangar, vehicle bay, size 5 turrets, and capital shields, there is little you won't be able to both store and secure. As a multi-role HQ, I see the Odyssey outfitted with a rock and another small ground vehicle, and whatever hangar ship the org mates decide best suits their mission. From combat escorts to prospectors and more, the Odyssey extends the range of all those smaller ships, and with a crew complement of six on board, there is plenty of space and opportunity to help out. For these reasons, using the Odyssey as an HQ is number three. Number two, mining. The MISC Odyssey makes an excellent mining ship for those hard-to-reach nodes in the furthest sectors of space. Equipped with a size 2 mining laser and complementary tractor beam, and the ability to store not only a prospector aboard its hangar, but several rocks as well, the Odyssey provides an excellent, well-rounded platform for any small to medium-sized mining org. Now, I see the Odyssey excelling within this role, operating in safer, although more remote areas of space. Since the Star Citizen game world is massive, 
The ships which can reduce the negative impact that distance imposes on their income will profiteer greatly, and the Odyssey positions itself uniquely with its long-term living and extended range to take advantage of areas that would otherwise be entirely inaccessible for other mining ships. For these reasons, using the Odyssey for mining is number two. Number one, exploration. The Misk Odyssey is billed as the premier exploration ship for this game, labeled recently by the developers as the Carrick Killer, which just prior was the largest, most capable exploration ship we backers had seen. And while I personally contest this assertion, as I believe they both offer unique features which I feel differentiate them to justify both in certain situations, it is impossible to deny the place that the Odyssey has already carved for itself within this role, given its utility and sheer potential. But first, let's review exploration again, and what its best qualifications are, since this gameplay loop is nuanced and hasn't been fully implemented yet. But to excel, an exploration ship must be capable of traveling long distances for either solo, group, or commercial discoveries. Whether that involves identifying points of interest like mining clusters or jump points, or resource and artifact acquisition, an exploration ship should have great utility, impressive defenses, onboard medical, and long-term living facilities. And while it will depend on the interests of the ship's captain which discoveries are pursued, with a tier 2 medical, size 5 turrets, capital shields, a hangar, and 252 SCU of cargo, the Misk Odyssey keeps those doors open for any pursuit. For these reasons, using the Odyssey for exploration is number one. But what do you plan on using this ship for? Do you agree that it's the Carrick Killer? Either way, thank you for watching this video. And if you immortals would like to join me on top Mount Olympus, I've created an org and discord. It's an incredible, inclusive community with both old backers and new players alike. Links in the video description. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you're one of the 97% who watches this and isn't subscribed, please consider it. It's incredibly helpful for my channel and I would really appreciate it. But either way, thank you all so much and I can't wait to see all of you out there in the verse.